So this one says explore, adventure, and live. And this is actually, I'm really, really fallen for this. This is a very natural, this is still um, upcycled, sorry, ribbon, but it's a very natural color. It's very silky, it's very soft, and it's very pretty. And I just, this book in particular is one that I feel is very calming um, and would be perfect for a travel journal, explore, adventure, and live. And when I say calming, but perfect for travel is because when I just had this experience with my daughter, we were just away and she was saying that um, we were away for about four or five days and she really didn't have any time to rest. And I think it's important when you are on a trip that you take that time to rest. So I thought that this journal being very peaceful and calming would be that resting spot for when you're traveling. And I know the next time I travel with my daughter, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that we put in time that we can have some rest and some writing time. And she's used to writing. She writes all the time, all day long. And so when we were on the go, that was a little hard for her to be away from that peace time. So anyways, this is just the perfect book to me for a little travel journal and yet it's very calming and you can see how the shades of this this book is very earthy. Hydrangeas and some astromerias in there and blueberries and rose petals, rose leaves. This is a chrysanthemum mum right here. Um, this is a type of a eucalyptus leaf that gives a really nice stain. There's a daisy back there and again another rose rose petal, rose leaves and rose petals and I just I see there's a little lion face on the side there. So pine needles and these pine needles are from the Midwest and I know that because of my source that I get them from. And pine needles are one of those things that really tell a lot about the sourcing because pine needles in North Carolina, were, when I first started doing this, I was using pine needles from North Carolina where we lived on our farm and they would turn a smoky black. And then pine needles from the, pine needles from the Midwest turn this beautiful honey brown and um, it's just such a gorgeous addition to the pages. This is just, you know, this is just a nice assortment of some some boldness in some areas, but it really gives a great palette here for a backdrop to your writing. I mean, that's you know, basically it. And then also as a travel journal, you have these spaces. I know a lot of people don't like to cover up the um, the stains of the plants. But there are enough of these spaces in this journal where if you want to put a ticket stub in there, some pictures, this is actually, uh, let me think if I can remember, is it a coleus? I think it's a coleus leaf, leaf. And it's very light, but I got coleus leaves, leaves from uh, Epcot. So when I was getting all of my plant elements from Epcot, when I was showing there, I was getting plant elements from Living with the Land and from the Disney nurseries where they raise all of the plants that go around the resort. And so I got coleus from there. That's the only coleus that would ever work for me for some reason. I never had had a good uh, experience with coleus besides those. Daisies, and here's the side of a daisy. Some more pine needles. That's an astromeria right there. Yeah, this is a phenomenal book for traveling. And, um, oh, I see an angel dancing. Huh. She's got wings, maybe a fairy. I'm, I'm all about fairies, really. So, um, but it looked more like an angel in the heavens up there. I think that's pretty. Look at that. That's a gorgeous page, too. I love the stems. I don't do a lot of stems because they're so hard, but these must have been a little bit softer when I put those in there, so that was good. This is a little rosebud right here. Some ferns in there and a hydrangea leaf. And then another happy page in the back. So yeah, that's a great travel journal. And um, I would definitely, I know I can't keep them all, 
but this one is so sweet and I especially love the color of this ribbon this sari ribbon I think I don't I, I haven't had this color before and that's the only piece of it I get an assortment so that's the only piece of it so there you go